Hello all, welcome to this video on Microprocessor Lab. Today we will be seeing two programs. First one to check whether the given number is odd or even and the second one to find the largest number from a set of numbers, both of which are implemented using an 8086 microprocessor trainer kit. Now here we will see the first program to check whether the number is odd or even. All the numbers given in pink are the addresses where the lines of code will be stored. The registers used here are SI, DI, AX, DX and BX and the instructions used here are move, divide, compare, jump when greater than whose result will depend upon this comparison and normal jump and finally halt. So the first line of code will point SI register to the location 3000 where we will have the number to be checked. This is a 3 byte instruction so the next line of code is at 2003. Here we will point the DI register to the location 4000 where we'll have the result. This is a 3 byte instruction, so the next line of code is at 2006. Here we'll move the content pointed to by SI to the register AX. This is a 2 byte instruction, so the next line of code is at 2008. Here we'll move the value 0 to the register DX. This is a 3 byte instruction, so the next line of code is at 200B. Here we'll move the value 2 to the register BX. This is a 3 byte instruction, so the next line of code is set 200E. Here we will divide the numbers AX and BX. On division, the quotient will be stored in the register AX and the remainder in DX. In the previous line of code, we stored the value 2 to BX. When we divide a number by 2, if the remainder is 0, it means the number is even, else it is odd. This is a 2 byte instruction, so the next line of code is set 2010 where we will compare the value of dx and 0. If the value of dx is greater than 0, we will perform a jump to the location 201b. Now this is a 4 byte instruction, so the jump will be at location 2014. At 201b what we do is, it's clear that the number is odd, so we will store the value 00, 0 to the location pointed by di. This is a 3 byte instruction. So the next line of code is at 201E where we'll halt the program. Now if the value of dx is 0, then this jump is skipped. This is a 2 byte instruction. So the next line of code is at 2016. There we'll store the value 0E to the location pointed by di. That means that the number is even. This is a 3 byte instruction. So the next line of code is at 2019 where we'll jump to the location 201E where the program halts. Note that at location 3000, we will store the number who is to be checked, that is the value at AX register and at location 4000, we will store the result, that is 0E if the number is even and 00 if the number is odd. Now we will see the demo. First we type in A and enter the address and type in the program. We move SI. 3000, then point DI to the location 4000. Then we move the value pointed by SI to the register AX. Then we move 0 to the register DX. Then we move the value 2 to the register BX. Then we divide AX and BX. Then we check the content of register DX and 0. If the value of DX is greater than 0, then we perform a jump to the location 201B. If that's not the case, then it's clear that the number is even. So we'll store the value 0e to the location pointed by di and then perform a jump to 201e where the program will halt. 201b we write the code for odd. There we'll store double zero at location pointed by di and then we halt the program. Now we see two samples 
checking if odd or even. First number E E and zero F. First the lower byte and second the higher byte. Then we run the program, reset, and check the memory location four thousand to see if it is odd or even. On checking, we see that the number is even since it's zero e. We check another number. First the lower byte and then the higher byte. That will be C D and zero B. And we again execute the program. Reset. And on checking the memory location four thousand, we see that the number is odd. Now we move on to the second program, which is to find the largest number from a set of given numbers. So here the numbers in orange are the addresses where the lines of code will be stored. The registers used here are SI, CX, AL. Since the numbers we will be using here are 8 bit numbers. Then we have the instructions which are move, decrement, increment, compare. Jump when above or equal, jump when not equal, and finally halt. So, the first statement will point the SI register to the location 3000 where we'll have the numbers. This is a 3 byte instruction, so the next line of code is at 2003 where we'll store the value 5 to the register CX since I'm using 5 numbers here. Also, note that we have assumed that all the numbers we enter here are unique, that there will be no duplicates. That's the case when this program works properly. This is a 3 byte instruction, so the next line of code is set 2006. There we'll move the content pointed by SI to the register AL. This is a 2 byte instruction, so the next line of code is set 2008, where we'll decrement the value of CX by 1 because we have already moved one value from the source to the register AL. This is a 1 byte instruction so the next line of code is at 2009 where we will increment the value of SI to access the next number. This is a 1 byte instruction so the next line of code is set 200A where we will compare the value of AL and SI. This is a 2 byte instruction so the next line of code is at 200C. Now we check if there is a value that is above or equal to that is compare is basically performing a subtraction so if the number here pointed by si is in some way greater than al then the carry flag will be set so this instruction checks if there is a carry or not if there is no carry then it will perform a jump to the location 2010 here we will decrement the value of CX which means that the number we just compared is not already greater than the existing number. So it will reduce the number of elements which is uh, kept in count by the register CX. This is a one byte instruction so the next line of code is at 2011. Here we will check whether the value of CX is 0 or not. If it is 0, it means all the numbers have been traversed. And if it's not 0, we'll perform a jump to the location 2009. Again, accessing the next value and performing the comparison. Now, if the value pointed by SI is a greater number, we already assume that the number at AL is the largest number, that is the first number. And if the new number is greater than AL, then what we do is we'll skip this jump and perform the next instruction. Now this jump is a 2 byte instruction. So this line of code is at 200E where we'll move the value of SI, move the value pointed by SI to the register AL. Now this is a 2 byte instruction. So the next line of code is where we decrement CX that is at 2010. And 
we'll again check whether uh, the value of cx is zero or not and perform a jump now after all the numbers are traversed the value of cx will be zero and when this checking happens it doesn't perform a jump it will skip to the next instruction this is a two byte instruction so the next line of code is at 2013 where we'll move the largest number at al to the location pointed by 3000 so that is where we'll have the largest number this is a three byte instruction so the next line of code is at 2016 where we'll halt the program note that at location 3000 3001 3002 3003 and 3004 we'll have the 8 bit numbers which we are going to compare and as seen here the result of comparison that is the largest number will be stored at location 3000 itself now we'll move on to the demo pressing a and entering the address we'll enter the program first moving si 3000 Then we move CX as 5, actually storing the value 5 to the register CX since I am using 5 numbers. Then I'll move the content pointed by SI to the register AL. We use AL because all the numbers we are using here are 8 bit numbers. Then we decrement CX. Then we increment SI so that we can access the next number. Then we'll compare. AL and the location pointed by SI, the value present there. Now, if the carry bit is not set or the value is above or equal, then we'll perform a jump. If that's not the case, we'll move the value pointed by SI to the location, actually the register AL, because the value pointed by SI will be a larger number in that case. And we decrement CX and check if it's ever zero. If it's not zero, we'll do the entire process in a loop. Now, after all the processing is done, the final result, that is largest number, will be at AL, which is stored to the location 3000, and we halt the program. Now, we'll give the sample data. We'll enter five numbers, five eight bit numbers, which are 06, 07, 09. 0f and 0e then we execute the program pressing g and entering the address resetting and we check the memory location 3000 there we see the largest number which is 0f that's all for now thank you for watching